Hello, I'm Lynn Richardson and I'm applying for the job of your U.S. Senator. Let's have a conversation about what you want to happen in our country. We the people. These are the first three words of our Constitution. They are bigger than all the other words, more important words. You are we the people. I am we the people. And we the people are not stupid. We the people are not naive, helpless creatures who need to be spoon-fed lies and half-truths by those who think they know better than we do what's best for us, regardless of what we tell them. They, and you can judge for yourselves who they are, have stopped listening to we the people. In real life, I do listen every day and act accordingly. It is the job of your U.S. Senator to hear we the people. About that budget, it cannot be impossible to cut any department budget by, say, 10 percent. Maybe buy a few paper clips and use more staples. Or stop padding budgets by funding job vacancies that will never be filled just to have that wiggle room. How about having real budgets and not penalizing agencies for not using all the money? That should be applauded, not punished. Perhaps we should stop sending foreign aid to countries that harbor people trying to kill us. 76% of countries in the world get some kind of aid from the United States, yet our roads and bridges are in trouble. Since it's not practical to send 11 to 20 million people back to their countries, why not make them taxpayers? Shouldn't we consider eliminating federal income tax completely and institute a national sales tax on only consumer goods? The U.S. would immediately add 11 to 20 million taxpayers because even illegal immigrants and criminals eat food. Of course, it's not quite that simple, but it sure would add a lot of contributors to the economy. So there you have it. These are just a few ideas for the fresh perspective that we seem to need. I'm willing to do the job with you and for you should you decide to vote for Lynn Richardson for U.S. Senate. Thank you.